Hey everybody, it's Miss Scoggins. I am going to do another read aloud today. Um, since this week we are working on research projects, I'm going to read you a nonfiction book about dinosaurs. Um, I'm so excited to see you guys' research project and see what animal or what topic you picked to research on and find out all the interesting facts. But I'm gonna share with you some facts about how big were dinosaurs. That's the title of this book and it is written by Lita Judge. So bear with me because this one has some really tough dinosaur names that I'm trying my best. Um, so see, teachers struggle sometimes too with reading just as everyone else does. Okay, stalking, running, stomping, crushing. When we think of dinosaurs, we think of huge monsters, but how big were dinosaurs really? Microraptor was a deadly hunter but he would barely be able to look a modern day chicken in the eye. The truth is, dinosaurs come in all shapes and sizes. Protoceratops had very large skulls and heavy beaks, beaks for ripping through plants. They were strong and built for defense, but no bigger than a baby rhinoceros. And honestly, with a name like Lealinosaura, you'd think these dinosaurs were tree-eating giants. But they stood only two feet tall. They lived through the cold, dark winters near the South Pole, where emperor penguins live today. Even Velociraptor, a dinosaur that fills our imagination with its flesh-ripping claws and powerful jaws, was only the size of a dog. Struthamomimus were the perfect size for going to the races. With slender legs and long tails, they were built like a very light horse and ran just as fast, up to 35 miles per hour. Ankylosaurus was a little taller than an SUV, but weighed four times as much. Built to withstand attack, they were covered in armored plates and sharp spikes, and they had a great bony club for a tail. Imagine being stuck in a traffic jam with a cranky Ankylosaurus. You can see its tail. Stegosaurus weighed as much as three cows, but with bony plates on his back that could be up to three feet long, he looked much bigger. Bigger isn't always smarter, this giant plant eater only had a brain the size of a walnut. Like a giant unicorn, Centosaurus had a strange spike growing out of its skull. We don't know what the spike was used for, but with a dinosaur-sized appetite and hundreds of teeth, he could have gobbled your garden in a few quick bites. There it is right there. Taurosaurus had a 10-foot skull and horns that grew as tall as a first grader. You wouldn't want to make this dinosaur do something he didn't want to do. Therizinosaurus had claws that grew up to 36 inches, longer than a man's arm. But don't worry, these plant eaters most likely use their claws to strip bark off trees and pull down branches. Tyrannosaurus rex had a skull nearly as long as a man is tall. He had strong jaw muscles that could crunch down with 10 times the force of an alligator bite. Imagine cleaning the nine inch long teeth of this fearsome meat eater. T-Rex. But even the fierce Tyrannosaurus Rex was no match for the biggest, most enormous, colossal giant of them all. Argentinosaurus. As long as four school buses, the dinosaur was probably the biggest animal to ever walk on land. 
a full-grown adult weighed more than a herd of 17 elephants. An Argentinosaurus was an incredible 45,000 times bigger than a Microraptor. But the largest dinosaur was only dangerous if you were a tree. Argentinosaurus must have eaten trees by the ton. Dinosaurs really did come in every size, as small as birds, or bigger than herds, and everything in between. The end. So I thought that book was kind of fun, learning about a bunch of dinosaurs I had never heard anything about before, and I actually had no idea that they were so small um, back when they were around thousands of years ago. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys are researching this week. If you want, you can leave a comment and tell me, comment on this video and tell me what, um, what topic you're researching. Um, I look forward to hopefully seeing a lot of you guys' work um, uploaded on Dojo Portfolio or your, your parents can just send me a picture. Um, but either way, I hope you enjoyed the book and I miss you guys so much and um, I'll share another book with you later this week. Bye-bye.